How's it going guys and welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all having a great day. So on today's video, we got another Dakota video coming up for you. And for once, he's in a Dakota video. Oh, yeah. I don't know what he's doing here. Normally he's the, the Cummins guy. Yeah. But this is going to be the very beginning of the, the new tire install for the Dakota. As a lot of you have made fun of me for, these tires are, you know, bad. <laughs> very bad. We got some new meats coming for her. I'm gonna jack her up, take all the wheels off. It does need an alignment. But I'll definitely film taking these wheels off and putting the new ones back on. And uh, maybe we'll do a nice little burnout with the rear tires before we get rid of them. I don't know if you'll be here for that. Yeah, I don't know. Or if you have any comments on it. What's that right there? What? That's right here. V8. When you're changing that to a big old C. <laughs> you know, somebody did tell me to take the uh, the Cummins out of the old rig back there and drop it in this truck. I don't know if you let me do that, but I'm not I'm not about that yet. You're not about that yet. No. I don't know if you guys want to see me roll coal, but <laughs> normally he's the coal roller. <laughs> I think when we do that burnout, it's not going to be today. Uh, I'm going to take it down the street maybe, and then uh, actually I'm going to take it down to Mexico, you know, because it's legal there. Yeah. So we're gonna burn those rear tires off. Not sure how crazy I'll get with it, but we'll see what happens. Any comments? Nope. nope. Time for me to get to work, huh? Yep. Alrighty. Time Let's... for me to leave. Where are you going? Inside, it's cold out. <laughs> Say it. <laughs> guys so we got the truck back home now getting ready to roll over the new tires and throw the truck up on some blocks that way you can take all four tires off at once and then take them to the shop and get the new tires mounted so i know that wasn't the greatest burnouts in the world but it was still fun to do that and who knows maybe we'll do some more in the future if we get some more old tires because they're pretty expensive and i don't have a tire sponsor right now so i'm gonna get ready to get to work right now and let's roll over those new tires and i'll show you what i got All right guys, so I got all four tires rolled over. They're a set of Cooper Discover AT tires. They're 265 70R 16s. As you can see, they got a nice aggressive tread on them, you know, all terrain, but a lot better than the worn out pieces of junk that I have on there now. I think they're gonna look really good on the truck. But I'm gonna get ready to take all four wheels off, jack up the truck, throw some blocks under there. So got some work ahead of me. I'm gonna get right to work right now. Well, as you guys can see, I got both front tires off. A little sketchy. It's up on blocks. You're not going anywhere for the time being. Now that I got the front two off, now it's on to the back two. Let's get to work.
Well, look who decided to come over. Oh, yeah. Donnie I'm Boy's here. back. I'm here. Hey, what's your opinion of uh, me doing the wheel work on the Dakota? Uh, well, I think you can get it done. Yeah? Yeah. It's not that hard. You think I should upgrade to a Cummins? Yeah. Uh, for your height? Yeah. Well, now that the trouble duo is gone, I think the next step I'm going to do before I put those new tires on is clean up these rims a bit. I'm just going to hose them down. And then my goal is to use a wire brush and clean up the inside because they are very cruddy. And once I get all that scaling off and all the road grime and brake dust, I'm going to paint them black and uh, try to clean up the rims a little bit. Give them a fresh new look. That way they'll look really nice on the truck with those new rubber tires on there. So I'm going to get right to work right now and start cleaning up those rims. So as you guys can see, a lot of scaling came off of these wheels. Cleaned up pretty good inside. I'm still going to hose them off, use some wheel cleaner, and maybe use the wire brush on the grinder as well as I got this little brush attachment for this electric drill here. But there's some heavy spots on them like right here that all ground off and like there was white powder under there from the aluminum oxidizing. As you can see, like that's kind of a spot there where it was oxidizing. It just flaked the chrome right off. Overall, the wheels are in good shape. Just got to clean them up a little bit. The wintertime salt really takes a hit on them. And uh, they discontinued these wheels, so I'm going to try to keep them in good shape and preserve them as long as I can. They are aluminum wheels that were chrome plated. And as a lot of you guys know, chrome doesn't do that good in the wintertime with all that salt. I'll jump back to you whenever we're ready to throw some paint on there. So I'm going to get back to work. can see jumping ahead from the last clip got the new tires mounted on the rims and I finished cleaning up all the insides as you can see came out pretty good they were really cruddy and I started priming them I used an aluminum primer just brushed it on so hopefully that works I'm not sure if I'll do one or two coats and then I'm gonna spray them black I already got this one done and the other two so this is the only one that's left that has to get primer and then after I throw that coat of primer on this last rim, then I'll throw some black paint on there. So I'm gonna finish it up right now. So I ended up putting two coats of primer onto the wheels. They came out really good. It looks like they got sealed up really nicely. And then I end up putting the first coat of black on. I think I'm just gonna do one coat. I did one heavy coat. They came out really good. And they look pretty good from the front too. They're still super wet and drying, but I'm sure if you guys can see that pretty well, but came out really good. So I'm gonna get ready to paint this last wheel. I'll put you guys on a time lapse and knock that out real quick. Cause I already got the other three done, so. Let's get this last one knocked out and get the wheels back on the truck.
guys, as you can see, I finally got the truck lowered back on the ground, got all four wheels on, came out really nice, really satisfied with the look. And I like the white letters on there. Kind of gives the truck an aggressive race stance look. I don't know, maybe it's just my opinion, but really satisfied with it. And I'm not sure if you guys can see this, but I did end up finish painting all four wheels black inside. Zoom in a little bit. Because I did want them painted black that way it, it kind of enhanced the chrome look a little bit and plus it would give it another seal of paint to uh, protect it from the elements but they came out pretty good satisfied with it not professional by any means but overall I'm very happy with it and the very last thing I have to do with the truck is actually take it to the shop to get an alignment but I'm not going to be able to film that but I am planning on getting an alignment done. But I know my rims aren't perfect by any means either because when I was painting my center caps, there was actually a sticker inside and they were marked, I think, August of 2002. So those wheels are at least 18 years old, but they're still shining up pretty good for their age, but they do have their imperfections, but it's all right because the truck's a daily driver anyways, and they're gonna get beat on a little bit, but I still try to take care of them as best as I can. Got some other cool videos on the way, so make sure you guys are subscribed so you don't miss out. And drop a like on this video as well. It helps me out, and it helps us keep growing. So thank you guys for watching. If you have any suggestions on what you'd like to see done next to the truck, I know I have a few other little things I want to do personally, but if you guys have any suggestions, be sure to drop it in the comments down below and let me know what you guys think. But I think as of right now, I'm just going to sign off with the usual. Always accelerate and don't look back. Catch you guys on the next one.